Before this video starts, I would like to say two things. One, you guys should definitely join our Discord. Uh, we're doing a little bit of cool events on the Discord, and I might be giving out some information relating this video, um, just updating people on it, because this is kind of important. And two, only 75% of you guys are subscribed. What's going on with that? Come on, boys. If all of you guys subscribed, I'd have over easy 20K subs. Come on, let's do it. Let's get into business. This video is strictly a theoretical maximum. 230,000 XP per game is simply not a realistic standard to make unless you have a very organized team of people like I had. But with this strategy, I'd say you could easily get 100K per person. So, I mean, that's 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 still better than God said his method, which is like, what, 36,000? So yeah, this is, this is stupid. All right, <laughs> this, this, this is probably one of the most important slash game breaking videos I've actually ever made. If, if this strategy is organized and executed properly, you can get level 100 in a little bit under four hours. You heard me. Under four hours of in-game time. Not like real time. That'd be, it'd probably be like, I don't know, probably five, six hours, but still, that's insane. So let me tell you what this method really is. What you need, all right, the game mode is capture the flag. Um, the map I would test this on was Bizarre Revamp, as you can see right through here. What you need is three people at minimum, but if you have three people, it will not be effective at all. Preferred, if you have 32 people in a lobby, it's very easy to mess up and you need an anchor. And if you don't know what an anchor is, you just need a person to spawn on while everybody else does the method. Unlike King of the Hill, uh, this strategy only benefits half the lobby. So basically, uh, let me explain how I really kind of found this thing. Basically, my Twitch chat invented this game mode, right, where I run around with an M60 and the, there's like 20 people on the other team with knives and they all have tried to capture the flag without killing me while I gun them down with M60s. And so basically I realized a strategy where you could just lay on the flag and just start knifing anybody who walks on it. And then I realized that you're getting ridiculous amounts of XP, right? And I decided, you know what? This is probably a good idea. And I had it in the back of my mind for a few months, but then I'm just like, you know what? Eh, I don't really have anything else to do. So let's just figure this out. So what I discovered from that method was multiple people can gain experience um, by returning the same flag. If everybody is laying down on the same exact point, as where the flag is, everybody will get 200 XP for that. And that's crucial to this method. Another crucial thing is we're relying off kills here. For the most effective method, we are relying completely off kills. And let me explain how we get 475 XP per kill. You get 100 per kill, you get 100 per, for the multi-kill bonus, 75 for killing the carrier, and 200 for returning the flag. That is 475 XP per kill. Now. I think you guys might understand why I said you need an anchor. In Capture the Flag, there is a certain point where you cannot spawn in anymore. And so I tested this out. The spot I decided to use was at a place called Long, if you ever played CSGO. If not, it's just the place with the little pit. And we backed out to the exact point on where it just started. And what happened is the anchor sits there while everybody else on the other team spawns on in. It's preferable if everybody turns off their spawns besides the anchor so everybody can find it easier. And then basically the entirety of the other team just starts running into you, as you can see by the footage. This will, you know, get you 475 XP per kill. And instead of capturing a hill, this is literally just doing it like, I think nine times as fast because I'm pretty sure God said it says it takes nine seconds in total to do a full rotation of it. It's it's just a little bit broken. Only one person can have the kills though. Um, There's no kill sharing or anything like that. So only one person can benefit the most. Now, with all the kills that we got, let's say, all right, theoretically speaking that every single person, the method was done completely perfectly. For every person I killed in this screenshot, I we get 200 XP. So let's do some math here. If we do 548 times 200, we get 109,600. So everybody who is on top of the flag all returns it at the same time gets 100,000 XP per game. That's a little bit broken. This doesn't even require you to be here. Literally all you have to do is go AFK, turn on an auto clicker, and just sit there on the flag point. It's insanely OP and you don't have to do any work at all. The only thing that's gonna be hard doing is getting the 32 people. You can theoretically do this with 16, but you're gonna be in a public lobby and you know people are gonna mess it up. So you need to have 32 people at max. I do not condone whatsoever vote kicking people out because they're not XP boosting. It is just not right and it is definitely bannable. So please be careful about that. And please be respectful to everybody else. Like, come on now. It's never fun hopping in a lobby, seeing everybody XP boost, and then, like, you get vote kicked out. You know, just be considerate. Now, you might be asking, well, how am I possibly ever going to be able to do this with 32 people? It's just simply not realistic. 
Now, I have an idea with the back of my head that we could theoretically do, but I don't know if the community would want me to do this because I am a point, I guess you could say, of authority in the PF community, and I don't think it'd be a good idea if I engaged in this whatsoever. But the idea was is that I would create a Discord that everybody could chill in. I'd call it like XP Boosty or whatever, and like have like certain people be like, I guess you could say XP leaders and host XP events so 32 people can hop in a call, organize, and then do this boost. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Uh, I guess I'm really iffy on it. I'd have to see like the endorsement of a lot of people for that to happen. But if not, I'm not going to do it. Like I said, I don't want to mess up the community at all because this could really just turn the game upside down. If like this becomes mainstream and everybody starts using it as the primary XP method, I think buying credits is going to go completely obsolete. So with this information, I'll leave it up to you guys. You guys can decide how you guys want to use this. Me personally, I'm not going to use it. I don't really engage in XP boosting. I don't like doing it. It's not fun. But if you really just don't want to spend credits on the game and you just want a power level, well, more power to you, I guess. So like I said, any information regarding the potential Discord idea, join the Discord. I'll be posting it in there. I probably won't make a separate video on just separate that Discord. Because, like I said, I'm not too big on XP boosting, but I know a lot of people just want to get big gate guns and not spend credits. And I understand that, because not everybody's fortunate enough to have the ability to, you know, go talk to somebody to get XP for a video, right? It's just simply not realistic. But yeah, that's really it. Um, I appreciate everybody who came out to the video, watched the entire thing. If you guys watched the entire thing, uh, just put, like, Corn is a stinky head. Actually, don't put that. Put Oscar's a stinky head. That's really it today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you guys really enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. And yeah, peace out.